All right, howdy there, folks, and welcome to uh, Let's Play Destroy All Humans 2 uh, without using weapons. So, in this video, I'm going to try to like challenge myself to not shoot a gun like at all in this game and see if you can beat it um, with taking the fewest shots uh, as possible. Now, I said a long time ago I was going to do this, and I've just now decided to get around to the editing. Um, I'll talk about that later. So. Let's get into the challenge. Um, I'll explain as we go here. Um, so here we are, um, loaded up. So in this challenge, my rules are I cannot shoot my guns. Um, I can't abduct people into the saucer. I can PK them and stuff like that. I just cannot shoot any of like Crypto's guns. Um, so in this clip here, um, we're on the first mission. The mothership has been destroyed and all that. Um, and we can see here that it takes a very long time, but the debris from the mothership can actually kill the KGB agents. And right here, um, what we can see is one of the agents is shooting the car and the KGB agents ran to the car. So we can use that explosion here to kill these two agents. So that agent accidentally killed his guys, but I guess that was the debris there, but I was trying to make um this one agent here kill his guy. This part was pure luck when I did it. I recorded all this footage like a couple months ago. Um, I was honestly kind of like discouraged to do all the editing on this. So all this gameplay you're seeing I did a couple months ago and I'm kind of just doing a live commentary on it now because I want to get these videos out there because it was something I wanted to do. But as we could see there, the debris basically took care of all the KGB agents for us. And I remember this part took so long to do because you had to get very lucky for all the agents to die by the mothership debris. Um, so now we're continuing on here uh, to the next part. And we can see that basically you don't need to shoot any guns there. You got to get to Arkvoodle. But then Arkvoodle <laughs> says this to us. He says that we must zap his idol with bolts of electricity. And honestly, I could not figure out any other way to make this work. So we had to use one shot, unfortunately, to trigger the landing zone. You can't get around it any other way. I tried so many other things like throwing barrels at him. And here, I used a barrel, I used a PK barrel to kill those two agents. Um, cause I, I think you needed to clear the landing zone from all the KGB agents. And then we had to kill more agents. And of course, Crypto's guns don't work for some reason for us in this challenge. So we're just gonna go blow them all up there. Um, <laughs> and we basically almost completed the first mission here. We gotta wait for the saucer. Crypto's gonna be like, Pox, what the hell is going on around here? Um, <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna talk to Pox here, and he and we go get a data core that we don't need because um, we're not using any weapons for this challenge. So the funny thing here, well, obviously you can just go run right up past all these agents uh, and grab the data core, and we're not gonna be using it. But I'm probably, but in this uh, like all the footage you see here, I'm gonna have it equipped, and we can see that KGB agents flexing on us right here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have the dislocator equipped just to show that I'm not like just murdering people um, with Crypto's weapons. So here we had the body snatch the girl, talk to the freak which I cut out because you guys don't need to see that. Um, I cleared this landing zone over there just because I could and basically this mission is like really easy. What I did there is I made it to the hash berry uh, freeing loved all the KGB agents and now we have to kill the KGB agents so I'm getting a little help from this police officer here to blast them but then I figured out also later on that you can just PK them they're like it's like the first game like they just die immediately so we're using our officer friend here then to um, reduce the wanted level and we finish the uh, we finish the next level and the KGB agents from the first level are still there so um, we didn't need to use any shots from any cryptos guns in that segment here um, and then we get on to the next part, which it's really kind of boring. I really fast forwarded this part up because you just need to grab a bunch of saucer repair pods on mission number three. Uh, you don't need to shoot. You can just grab them, grab and dash here. So we just grab, we run, get the next one, repeat. This is not too hard to do really. I like to like use the protect to make them all kind of distract themselves while I was doing the smashing. Because when you, uh, 
order the protect order on one of the like the npcs they'll all like fight each other um pking them to the ground also worked so they couldn't shoot you so you couldn't really take any damage there that was also helpful i like doing the protect thing even if it wasn't too practical it was kind of funny to not get shot at because they're shooting at their own guys um and then we make it to the next data core we see we're just breezing through this right here uh, we get the next data core, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and now I know what you might be thinking. Uh, we gotta destroy the blimps, that's the whole reason we got all these things, we gotta take the blimps out. So shouldn't you need to shoot something? Oh, oh viewer, you don't need to shoot it, because, well first we have to do this crap. Um, for the challenge, I think I also said at the beginning, I'm not going to be using like the abducto beam or whatever to like just, er, what is it called, the vault to like just abduct people. Cause I think that kind of like is cheating too. I'll use it to move vehicles for missions, but not to like, um, not to just take people out, like take them into the vault. So basically gene blends aren't going to be a thing in this uh, challenge either. So as we can see, the strategy here is crypto can just kamikaze uh, the saucer into these blimps to destroy them. So we don't need to use any, uh, any of the death ray. So all you have to do is just keep draining though. Um, you gotta keep getting health back from the saucer, but you don't need to shoot the death ray, which is really nice. Um, so we just keep... I fast forwarded this too, because it took a, quite a bit of time. Um, and I don't expect you guys to just watch all the long minute by minutes. Uh, it's kamikaze all the blimps over and over again, so I just sped it up for all of us. Um, and... What surprised me, it takes a lot longer to do this, obviously, because you got to keep draining going, but we got it done. And that moves us on to, what is that, mission number four. All right, and then we are on mission number four here. Um, and we didn't need to shoot any for the last mission, so in this one we have to go find Prudence Kane, who threatens to dump Revelate into the bay. So I thought it would be really funny, right? So I unlocked this landing zone earlier to help her with her plan and just throw the trucks into the bay and pollute the water supply. And the funny thing is, it counts as destroyed. So, I mean, we <laughs> we, we, we uh, helped her succeed in her plan, and now we got to find Bong Water's Lair. Um, so, yeah, you didn't need to shoot the trucks with your gun or anything like that. Um, so what I did here was I was calling in some backup, calling in backup with the boys um, to come help me out with Bong Water. Um, so I grabbed a bunch of military guys. It is really fast forwarded up here. Um, grab some of the boys to come in because um, they w they will fight the KGB agents with you. Um, so I just threw them in there. A uh, little help from a friend since fear on weaponry doesn't work in this challenge. Um, and then we run right in. But the annoying part, cause I, I, I thought it'd be really lame, right, to like just be like, oh, I threw a barrel at him. Um, so I tried to do this, but I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, it did not work. Um, and I'll show you here that I tried to get these guys, because there was so many KGB agents in there that um, they would just kill them, and then I needed to get alerted myself, and it was a major pain in the cheeks, and a bit of a waste of time, I'll be honest. I tried to see if you could scan him. Um, and also, so while we're sitting here, I also would like to talk about um, why I didn't get this out sooner. Because um, this was months ago. Uh, it was just a lot of editing, I'll be honest. You can kind of tell my editing might not be the best here. Uh, oh, and then here on the thing, I'm just killing Bong Wander with the barrel because I just gave up. Because I got uh, bored of trying to make the soldier kill him. So we didn't need to shoot a gun there, but the next obstacle came about right here. The stupid door. I tried throwing barrels at the door because I thought maybe an explosion would trigger it, right? Just throw a barrel at the door and maybe it'll blow up. But no, but no, nothing would work no matter what I did and it was just really annoying. So the game here um, basically forces you and I also tried, I tried everything. I tried to make this one KGB agent kill me and <laughs> Obviously, he didn't take any shooting classes because I had to speed this up a lot too because he it took like forever for him to kill me because he just kept missing. So um, I fast forwarded this bit. 
And as we can see here, he finally got the job done, but it didn't teleport me out like I wanted. So we had to pick up the death or the disintegrator ray. Um, as I, I was fast forwarding again, because I thought maybe if you pick it up, then it'll teleport you. So I just let him punch me in the face like 20 times. Um, and I realized here that dying didn't work and we were going to have to take our second shot of the challenge. Which, funnily enough so far, we haven't had to use any weaponry on actual humans. We had to shoot Arc Voodle because he wanted that little uh, tingle. <laughs> and we had to shoot one bullet at a, at a door. So we haven't had to kill any humans. I upgraded my jet pa my jetpack here so we could get higher uh, for the guns of Alcatraz because I also wanted to try um, something else that we'll get into later in this mission. Um, so we got to get to the rock. Um, so we're just going to fly over here. Uh, and the game wants you to use the little extra wharf here. So I just go over here and do it. You know, I just fly over everyone. Um, I don't need to kill any of these soldiers. They got families. They got homes. That guy, <laughs> that guy disappeared, as you can see if you go back and look at that. Um, he just like disappears out of nowhere. I, f I thought it was really hilarious. Um, so we get it. it. Takes forever to heal for some reason, and then we see Agent Orinchov, and he tries to kill us. And we gotta get the agent. And now you're supposed to get the dossier, so you can't really throw it in the water, so you need to kill him. So I let his little friends do the job for me, and I guess they really didn't care about shooting, because they just killed him, so I got the briefcase here. Um, so I want to show off this next part. I try to kill myself to get off the rock, because you gotta, it says call the saucer to get off the rock. So I tried killing myself, and it didn't work. Um... Because the Arc Voodle on this island demands, it uh, he demands you call the saucer, and to do so you need to shoot him. So I upgraded my jetpack here to get off the rock because I wanted to try to like skirt around having to shoot him with a disintegrator ray. Um, so I just uh, fast forwarded it and got in a saucer just to see if it would trigger the uh, nuclear bombs, um, and it did not. I could not trigger it so the only way to trigger it um was our old pal arc voodle screwing us again i tried doing different landing zones here um and it didn't work soldiers come running up trying to ruin our day but again like i said before the person that was going to ruin our challenge here was arc voodle again which was really annoying <laughs> arc voodle does not want us to succeed in this challenge Array. I'll show you. See, it's he just wanted to ruin our day with his little disintegrator ray. So then I started throwing explosions at him, uh, those barrels, and I just had a cave. So shot number three of this challenge, thanks to Arc Voodle screwing us again, trying to not shoot our gun as much as possible. But I will tell you, maybe a little spoiler alert, folks, it does get much better. Bay City is just kind of a big douche to us. Um, so we throw the nukes into the bay along with the uh, poisoned water supply from earlier. Um, and then we gotta destroy the rock. And I know what you might be thinking, it might be tough to do it without shooting your death ray. But for some reason, there's a bunch of these like um, heat-seeking rockets at the rock now. And they are, they, you can like guide them into shooting the building for you. So the KGB is destroying their own base by shooting at the saucer. Um, I guess they didn't know that Crypto was trying to avoid using his own weapons on them. Um, and they just wanted to shoot him down. So basically what I'm doing here is uh, skirting around the building, that tower, trying to get those rockets to hit the building because they do damage to buildings. Um, and luckily for us, we could take the entire rock down here, simple as pie. Um, I, I like, well not like super simple because you had to keep healing, but pretty simple. Not as fast as doing it with the death ray obviously, but we got it done. And so we find out that only three shots are required to beat Bay City. On the next episode, I will be doing the entirety of Elbion and we'll be seeing how many shots are required to beat the Elbion section of the game. So stay tuned because there's gonna be adventure, there's gonna be death, 
there's going to be tense moments, and there will be betrayal. So please stay tuned and look out for how many shots are required to beat Elbion.